I like to call this the ancient future of guitars, especially acoustic guitars. You see, in the old days when guitars were first transforming from lute to guitar, when they used to have two or three strings called courses for each, for each note, and they figured out, well, one string per note was a little cheaper, uh, and they went to six strings. When, when all that was going on, think about the setting uh, that people play guitars in. You've got a lot of hard surfaces, stone and wood, and it was a place where sound would carry. It, would, it was even designed not to die away quickly. We call it reverb, right? And we generate it with, uh, with modern technology, with effects, but it's really a natural thing. Uh, we talk about a room being live and being filled with, uh, with reverb, but if there's no reverb at all, we call it dead. Uh, so <laughs> this guitar is alive. Uh, there's something incredibly natural about it. Even though this is cutting edge technology that's only a few years old, it feels like this is the way the acoustic guitar was meant to be played. If you've ever played inside of a tiled bathroom or a stairwell, uh, then you know the effect of feeling like you're inside the acoustic guitar, like you're one with the guitar. That's what happens with this. And I'm, I'm not plugged in. Uh, all I have is a mic. There's no processing on this whatsoever. I'm just running straight into uh, and DAW, and this is the sound that you get. Uh, now, I can dial that back, uh, and you can see this is still a good guitar. Uh, this is the Yamaha LLTA. It's a dreadnought. The, the shape in the pictures looks a little wonky, but in real life, it, uh, it has a nice feel and nice look. It's got more of a narrow uh, waist here and the the rosewood back and sides uh, gives it uh, a beautiful color but also uh, just a really bright tone you've got a torrified uh, spruce top they call it are the process they use it what it does it makes it seem like it's aged 20 years or or so uh, when you buy it but it's not it's brand new uh, but the process that they treat uh, the wood makes it seem like it's aged. So when you buy it, it feels like it's broken in. Uh, you've got an ebony fretboard. You've got abalone inlays here and around the sound hole. These are some of the smoothest tuners uh, I've ever used. This is a great guitar. You've got this uh, five-piece neck here. It gives it uh, even more of a solid feel. If you buy it from Sweetwater, you can have it plecked, which is a process by which they scan the frets and they get it, them as even as possible. Uh, and you can have it set up there. This, this is the future. Now here it is with no effects. If I turn it almost all the way up, just unreal uh, to be playing this guitar and to feel that sound coming out of the guitar itself. Like I said, if you've ever played in a stairwell or in a tiled bathroom, it's, it's that same kind of feel, but all you have to do is pick up the guitar and you're ready to go. You don't have to plug it in. And I will say, if you do plug it in, that sound uh, translates really well into a PA system. Uh, it's a really nice sound. Now, a lot of times with the piezo pickups you get this kind of dry unnatural sound but with the the reverb whatever system technology they have inside here it translates really well to uh, a PA system. But now here's the thing if you if you want to use this as your all-around guitar I think you can do it but I don't think you always need all this this reverb right there's there's a downside to it if you're just strumming uh, 
it, it kind of muddies the sound a little bit if you're if you're doing a whole lot of strumming. I mean, if you're doing it lightly, then it, it it's an effect that's really nice. But if you really dig into it. really dig into it it, uh, it just kind of creates a little too much sound but for anything finger picking it is phenomenal it causes the notes to sing and to carry uh, and I find that my expression is more dynamic uh, and you know because it picks up the the smaller notes uh, but when I really want to uh, bring them out it just really makes it sing it's kind of like having uh, if you ever play piano, if you use the pedal, it really makes those notes come alive a little more and they ring longer. And uh, when you're learning, especially if you're learning a complex finger style piece, uh, it can come in really handy. <laughs> Just uh, that dead space, it fills that dead space when you're trying to find the next note and you, you feel more confident and you play longer, you practice more, and I think you become better as a result of that so if you're into finger style guitar this is the ticket now it can work for for anything but look you know if i'm going to play bluegrass on this thing you don't want all those effects on i mean that's a little too much if i do the same thing You can you can see this is still a good guitar and it's got a uh, that that low end of and the high end uh, that the rosewood back and sides will will give you. Um, but if you're playing bluegrass, if you're strumming heavily, you don't want to turn those effects all the way up. Now you can dial those back. Um, it has a room reverb, so that that's a lot shorter of a decay. Thing. Uh, so you can probably get away with that on some bluegrass there. Uh, so that's that's the room reverb there. Uh, you can get away with some some picking. It just gives you a little bit edge. But if you really if you really want to get the most out of this, you uh, you got to try some some finger style. This is what finger style guitar songs were were made for this brings them to life in, in a way like no other and the beauty of this is you uh, you can just sit down when you have five or ten minutes and you're just noodling around uh, this makes you want to play I mean you can't put this thing down it sounds so good in a small room now if you've got a studio where you can turn on uh, all your fancy stuff, then you don't need this. Uh, it's overkill. There's, it's really kind of pointless. Uh, but if you play at home for fun, then this is really going to take you to a whole nother level in terms of uh, your confidence, in terms of your expression, in terms of the amount of time that you want to play. Uh, this can be a game changer in your, your technique, uh, and in the versatility that you have on the acoustic guitar itself. This has made me want to play more uh, than any instrument I've ever owned. I uh, absolutely love this guitar. Let's, uh, let's listen to it some more.
kidding. Um. That's just with the hall reverb. I can add a little bit of chorus. instrument to take you to the next level in your home for your own private use uh, but also have the versatility to go uh, gig with and play out in places and really make people just stop and uh, can reconsider the beauty the depth of the acoustic guitar this this is the instrument that can do that uh, this is cutting edge. This is the ancient future of the acoustic guitar that reimagines the sound of this instrument in your home. Uh, and though it's technology, it feels like the acoustic guitar is, is coming home, that this is its rightful place, uh, that 
instead of on your couch, you're sitting in some concert hall or uh, in the great hall of some king and queen and performing for royalty. Uh, there is something magical and fantastical about uh, these effects coming through the guitar. Now, I've had it for about a week now, and uh, the excitement and the newness has has not worn off. So far, it still does not feel like a gimmick. Uh, I anticipate this will be my go-to guitar uh, when, when I'm playing anything solo. Uh, this, this can bring it to life in ways that uh, my other instruments can't. Now, if I'm if I'm playing a particular style, uh, if I'm going to be strumming a whole lot, uh, I'll probably pick up one of my other guitars. If I'm going to be playing bluegrass, I'll pick up something else. This can hang, uh, but I do have uh, I have a Guild D55 that uh, still just the dry sound uh, is more powerful than this. But if you're trying to get those individual notes to, to sing and to ring, if you're trying to get into fingerstyle guitar, playing melody, uh, playing intricate things, uh, then this this is the ticket. Uh, so try it out if you can and keep playing.